Now to our top story locally tonight. Take a look at the mess a large train derailment caused in Raymond, Minnesota. Federal officials are on the scene as the community looks for answers as to what happened and what comes next. Raymond's about 100 miles west of the Twin Cities. Residents there were evacuated early this morning after the train derailed and several cars started on fire around 1 a.m. We have team coverage tonight. Sammy Selena has spent the day in Raymond getting answers from investigators and Gordon Severson spent time in nearby Prinsburg with evacuees. Let's get started with the very latest from Sammy. That's Hi there. So that's right. The derailment happened just after 1 a.m. Uh, here in Raymond, and luckily no one was injured. BNSF, it was a BNSF train, and they said that 22 of their cars actually derailed. Again, luckily no one was hurt, but there are state and federal investigators that are on scene trying to figure out the cause of this. Boy, they are piled up. Oh, yeah. Pretty sad. The fire burned hours after the derailment. The cars involved carried corn syrup and ethanol, four of which caught fire. Looks like a mess. It's going to be a, a few days to, to clean this up. We're, we're in consultation with the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board. Uh, their team will or should arrive this evening. Um, our, our process to start restoring the track and restoring this area is going to be highly involved with the local agencies and the NTSB as well. Representatives from the company were in Prinsburg to talk to residents before they returned home. We apologize for this. We take full accountability for it and we'll continue to be here until this is cleaned up. All kinds of tankers are total wrecks. Governor Tim Walls was at the scene around 9 a.m. to see the damage firsthand. He says the state stands ready to protect the health and safety of the community and that technology prevented this derailment from being worse than it is. And it's good news that those train cars are something called 117 J's, which is the state of the art that they're encapsulated in this. So while they're burning out there, they're not going to explode. One, two, three, four, well, a whole line of them there. First responders have been at the scene for hours, turning their attention to clearing what they could after they helped residents evacuate. We see five, six of those trains every day, and you don't think twice about it. It's pretty crazy to see it happen like this. So BNSF tells us that they really can't start the bulk of the cleanup until the NTSB gives them the all ready to go. They will actually be here tonight and they are the ones that will be investigating the cause of this incident. So right now they have to hang tight uh, until that happens. They said once they are able to start cleanup, it would be a few days for them to do so. Back to you.